Então é isso.
So now I'm going to be taking cuts. Even the family as well. I need to be done. Come on, see. I'm not a man. So we don't allow people to go beyond this place. Yes, yes, yes. And the other benefit mm -hmm. of ICU is that you are almost a nurse to a patient. Yes. One, you have the mechanical ventilator, just like I mentioned earlier, yeah. that can actually um, take up the respiratory function in the, in the individual. Then we have some other gadgets over there that has a regular monitoring of all the vital signs. And one thing about it is, if there is any little alarm, the team has a self installed alarm that can just be pop. And um, we'll quickly, the nurse who is always with the patient will quickly do something and, and uh, the next reactions will be taken. So it's the highest level of care that you can give to any patient. And uh, just like I mentioned earlier, um, everything is in there to make sure that the patient enjoys the maximum level of care that any institution can actually offer. Is that okay? And uh, the other thing about it is, in, uh, in some centers, I, I'm just trying to let us appreciate what exactly we have here. In some centers, they have just one bed, they have mm -hmm. two beds, then the ICU. Even in some centers, we don't call it ICU, we call it HDU, mm -hmm. High Dependency Unit, which is a lower rank to this one. But here we have 10 beds, and each bed has to make a family to make sure that at least we can take in 10 patients. Right. We still have some other mechanical <laughs> ventilators apart from here. We still have a cardiac ICU for patients that had open heart surgery. We do open heart surgery here. We do some other eye um, uh, special, specialized care that has to do with the heart here too. So we have the cardiac ICU downstairs that has its own mechanical ventilators and everything needed to make sure that we keep life going and that to make sure that we give the maximum care to the patient too. So I don't know if we will be still be able to get there because of our time. No, that okay, we'll be able to get there again. Apart from that, they can't that really access. It's we don't really allow close. people to go into that. That's why we don't. We don't because want to Because it's heart surgery, you know. Mm -hmm. So we don't. We want limited movement, and uh, we don't want any infection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the yes. last thing about that place, because we would just like mommy said, we won't be able to get there. We have uh, a cat lab. That cat lab is. Um, we have the gadgets there. For example, for, for someone that has heart problem, that has a blockage in one of the major vessels in the heart, that has um, what people call um, chest pain, angina, and heart attack, the layman word now. Mm -hmm. Heart attack is something you can easily go in there, look through with the machine, and if there's any blockage, we can. It has a therapeutic effect, then it has a diagnostic effect. We can actually make an assessment of, oh, this is where the problem is, this is where the blockage is. Then also, at the same time, we quickly treat it. It's, still, it's also one, this place is also one of the few places where we have it. In the whole of West Africa, I don't, I mean, the whole of uh, 
the western part of this country. I don't know you did. So we, all those things are in place to make sure that our patient enjoys the maximum care. Something exactly like it will be even if they are in the US. So that's that's what um, yeah, what we have. Apart from that, we have a, a theater, a major theater for surgery, for heart surgery, and we cannot get there just like mommy rightly said earlier. Mm -hmm. Because we don't want that place to be, to be allowed. The very the street movement to that place. Joke that someone can sleep here without sleep. any cause for yes for alarm, unlike the other one that uses radiation. So in a way, the cost of this one will be a little bit, a little bit more than the other one, but both are very high level radiation. Yeah. So this one is better. This one is for some areas. This one yeah, is better. For, on so for some areas, the other one is better. Now the other thing about this is this particular machine is it is 1.5 Tesla. The machine comes in grades, and uh, 1.5 Tesla is one of the latest that they are using. Of course, we have some like 3 Tesla, 5 Tesla. 5 Tesla they don't use for human beings, they use for animals' products. So, no human being. And um, five, 3 Tesla, very few hospitals in the US. So, this is one of the latest in Africa. And so many hospitals are still they are using this in the US. So, you can be rest assured that what you have over there is what you have there too. We have some other ones that are lower ones and not up to 0.3 Tesla, but this particular one has a very high standard of resolution. You can see the looking clearly. The person will sleep there. Yes, the person will sleep there. Yes. That oven. It's like oven like now. It's, it's, uh, it's just, it's, there's a way to study, just pass through and study the material. Not that the person will just. You you have to be inside. No, 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 not you. That person. The 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 person. Yeah, yes. No no yes. Yes. No. Some of the teaching hospitals in Nigeria have tried, even you see But any little thing like this, the machine is what to repair it is very difficult and expensive. In this center, we have two. So at any time, the person comes, night, morning, Saturday, Sunday, the procedure. 24 hours. 24 hours. And we have experts on ground 24 hours to attend to the to the person. Sir. Sir, to the person. Wow. Actually, the person is charged, they've gone to see Baba. Okay. Okay. This, this particular one. Then we have other people to who that operate it. So we have individual. We have uh, it's an expert per machine. So it's um. Let's. 
you don't need to process like on the olden times, they need to dig inside the chemical and all those things. Mm -hmm. So once you process, you send it to parts, the person can assess it from anywhere in the world and report the image. So anything you detect can be assessed. That person. Yes, the image we produce from here can be assessed. Once it's in parts, it can be assessed by the doctors anywhere in the world. Anywhere. Yes. In the world. In the world, yes. Bravo. That's nice. Okay. So people that have um, maybe issues conceiving, like the fallopian tubes are blocked. All those things. People that have issues urinating, once like any vessel is blocked, you can use this to see what is going on there, what is causing the blockage. Yeah, this is also what is called This is the real time video. Yes. So, where is the television? <laughs> it's outside, it's on outside. the other side. Of uh, Abby? Yes, I need to ask yes, now. Yes, yes, yes. Because when we are talking about video, we yes, yes, know that this is video. That we need the television. You see it, yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Very good for pregnant women. You also use it for breast scan too. Yes. People that are still young, it's better for scanning their breasts. So high definition, really good images. Too. Okay. Okay. You don't have to send anybody. I'll send to I'll call them to return it. I'll call them to return it. Okay. So they will receive it at the So we don't send anybody. So the uh patient's relative relative doesn't need to come here or to bring the samples. Yeah. So it's not in the bank. 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 So it's not and yeah, oxygen the everywhere in the whole hospital, the oxygen work. You don't have to lift a cylinder or whatever. Just press. Bed or you can put the oxygen to my jacket. I don't know, dear. That's just a good idea. Thank you. 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 Yeah. 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 Okay, so you're welcome to Abamon System Hospital. Thank you. So this uh, we have three major laboratories here. Um, whenever you come to the hospital, basically what we do here is to find out why you are sick. Okay, from the laboratory's perspective. So we have three major laboratories where we do this. So here is the hematology laboratory. Basically, we want to know whether you have enough blood or not enough blood. We want to find out whether your red cells, your blood cells, you have three types of blood cells, the red blood cells, the white blood cells, your platelets. And each of them are very important functions. Okay? The oxygen you breathe in and breathe out that make all the cells of your body to work well uh, come in to the body, to the body through the nursery. They get to all the parts of the body by the blood cells. The red blood cells. So you want to really know if your if your red blood cell is normal, if it is enough. Okay, so that's what we do in this laboratory to find out now. And then the white blood cells are the body soldiers. Understand? They're the one that fights infection. So we also want to know if you have enough soldiers, less than one. And then the platelets. When somebody has a bleeding, it pops. Whether in the system or wherever, the platelets helps you to prevent if you bleed, you bleed to death. You can bleed to death. So the platelet helps you to stop that. 
and so we also find out whether you have enough platelet or not enough platelet. So those are basically what you do. Okay. Here we also do your hemoglobin electrophoresis, for example, premarital cancelling. We have a lot of uh, Africans who have sickle cell anemia, uh, sickle cell disease, and you want to prevent that. So you want to act there. You want to ask them to do that uh, uh, hemoglobin genotype uh, test. So we do that as well. Yeah. And uh, blood group and um, quite a lot of things. So let me take you to the next laboratory. The chemical. When I started, I said, when you come here. Our basic work in the laboratory, we want to know why you are sick. In this laboratory, we are, the way the doctor is suspecting that there is a kokoro, or put it in a more uh, appropriate terminology, there is an organism, a bacteria, most especially, uh, that causes um, a disease. So the doctor will send uh, the patient here and then will take samples. Okay, whether urine, whether sputum, whether feces or stool, and then we're going to examine them, do some investigations on them. We find out what organism is causing that uh, problem. We find out what antibiotic that when you take this, it will clear the organisms. Somebody might be thinking in his mind, what about viruses? Viruses are difficult to go in the laboratory. So what we do is we study the effect of those viruses or the kind of uh, immune response they provoke. So we also do antibody tests for the viruses here as well. So and then I didn't mention that because the lab is still, uh, we have been working on it. In the, when you go to, toward my, um, down there, toward my right hand side, there's a lab called the molecular biology lab. So uh, what we